Hi, my name is Kelvin Johnson. In this video, I'll be showing you how to resolve problems that involves a Citrix application. So if you try to um, you open a program, you try to open a program using the Citrix apps and you receive an error message. So I'll show you how to resolve it in the latest Windows 10 version. So if um, let me just go to my Citrix uh, app application. Here you have the Citrix receiver. So let me click the open files location and then I will click again the open file location. So first of all, if you try to open a Citrix um, application or you try to open an uh, application using the um, Citrix receiver and you receive an error message, the first thing you need to do is you need to go and check if this file is associ associated with Citrix because these are actually the files that control the Citrix application when you are trying to open it so if you see that okay there's a different um programs that's associated with this wfc run 32 and the wf is 32 then you're automatically you know you have a problem then secondly what we need to do is we need to check if um, the citrix application is uh, the is the isa client is really associated with the um, citrix app so what you need to do is you go to your settings Go to the start menu and then click settings and here you click apps so on our apps you just you click default apps here you can just scroll down and then choose click choose default apps by file type so um yeah this is going to take some time to um to load because i have a lot of um, applications on my computer so let's just wait for the apps, all the apps to be displayed. Well, okay. What we're actually going to look for here is the .isa file. Okay, let's just scroll down a little bit and go to the .ica. I think I'm still in the G. Okay, I'm still here. I need to check. Okay, this, you have to look at the dot. ICA that is the Citrus ICA client. So first of all, you have to make you have to be sure that the client connection manager is associated. This file is associated with the client with the Citrus connection manager. So if um, that is not the case, what you just need to do is you need to click on this file. Then here um, you you're going to receive um, kind of a drop down list of application that you you need to be associated with the is a client as you can see it's already associated um, the file is associated with the uh, isa client so then there you can choose which file you want to open your citrus connection manager with but it has to be the citrus connection manager and again if that do, does not resolve your problem i think uh, let me show you another option what you can actually do to um, resolve the um, connection problem with citrix so what you need to do you need to go to like show hidden icons here and here i have the citrus receiver on the task um, bar of my computer so right click on a citrix receiver and then click advanced preference so if i click Ad advanced preference it's going to show me some other options of my uh, of citrix so here you have the option to reset receiver so when i click reset receiver so it's going to ask me are you sure you want to reset the receiver so it says resetting with delete all apps, desktops, account and configuration and return receiver to its default setting. So what this actually does is it actually resets the Citrus receiver to its default setting. So if you have um, the ISA, the ICF, the .ICA file trying to be used by another program. So when you reset this file, it will actually switch to the right program. So just click yes, reset receiver. So now it's trying to reset the um, Citrix receiver to so its default um, settings. So let's just wait a little bit. As you can see, it says Citrix receiver is reset to so its default setting. Then click OK. And here I'm going to receive a message. OK, here you receive a message that I will tell you work. Just this is actually when you install um, Citrix the first time you receive this. Um, this pop-up or this message so i just click do not show 
this windows automatically at logon so if you don't do this anytime you log on to your computer it will um, display so well because i created a um a, a video some time ago i am on how to resolve how to resolve a citrus application so i receive a lot of um, emails and uh, comments that some people say that uh, well they thank me a lot for creating that video that it actually helps them to resolve their problem and some people some people say that um, the problem was not resolved and i believe it's because they are using because when i created that video i think i was using the uh, windows 10 version 1607 so right now i'm using um version 1803 so probably you may, you may be using version 1703 or even the latest version of windows which is 1903 which is being released at, at, um, at the moment so if you are using this um, the latest version of windows and you are having this problem so i believe um just following the steps will help you to resolve your um, citrus um, problem and also before i forget here you see also the ico file you have to make sure that this file is also associated with citrix receiver okay now if for example i choose uh, paint here you see then i'll have a problem because the ico file is now suited with paint and this is not supposed to be the case so if i just click let me just click this file again and see here i can just choose citrus receiver so citrus receiver has to be the case of the ico file so check the body ic ica and the ico to make sure both this is using citrus connection manager and this is using citrus receiver if that is not the case believe you me you will have you see you keep on receiving that same error message and uh, you see that um you citrus will be telling you that okay there is no citrus installed um citrus uh, application will install on your computer and wh whereas that is not the case well thank you very much for watching my video and please don't forget to like my um like this video if this video has been a great help to you and um don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more it related videos and um, thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video and see you next time bye